you could be uh, completely prepared, right? Completely prepared and something just comes out of nowhere, you know, that you have absolutely no control over and, you know, your game plan goes without you. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody had a good day trading. Very odd day. We'll get to that in a second. Like always, guys, again, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all the support uh, of the channel. Uh, like, and if you haven't, so uh, subscribe to the channel so we can continue uh, to give you notifications when we are uploaded. So let's talk about the tape. So last night uh, we talked about, um, you know, we talked about a scenario, um, you know, the Chinese uh, unrest, the protest, you know, the, you know, the market doesn't like, um, doesn't like, you know, anything that is going to disturb the train to kind of potentially uh, bring it off its tracks. And yesterday, you know, the markets were rattled. And as you can imagine, uh, like we talked about, a lot of technology names, the semiconductors, uh, Apple, and just technology in, at a whole, uh, you know, started breaking down, right? Started breaking down. Some uh, pivotal levels got broken down. And, you know, we started, you know, like I said last night in the video, you know, I, I was watching, I was, you know, pretty much sell buys going into uh, today's session. You know, pre predominantly a lot of names we talked about uh, last night, we talked about Apple. Uh, I gave you know very very specific levels uh, to spies. I gave very very specific levels to the Qs. Uh, the semiconductors were you know borderline teetering. So we were set up right. And uh, the, the craziest part about this business, and again, I'm going on my 24th year. Okay, uh, it's going to be 24 years for me in May of next year. And the one thing I've, I've always realized is always expect the unexpected, okay? Um, you could have a perfect game plan, right? Which again, when you look, you know, when you look on paper today, the game plan was flawless, right? <laughs> you look at the game plan, it was flawless, right? You look at your bias, it was perfect, right? Everything was going well. We even got a gap up open today, right? And again, if you're ever sell buys going into the next day, you want a gap up because what happens is stocks that are weak the day before, they get stuffed into supply, they roll over and usually confirm the previous day's low and get hit. So everything was working out great, right? We were ready, we were ready, able and ready, and ready and able, and we were waiting, right? We were waiting. And you know, things start putting in opening range lows. For example, Apple starts putting in its opening range low. All right, cool, let's watch Apple, right? Apple puts in its opening range low, takes out the previous day's low, puts in a low, starts rallying. Uh, name like NVIDIA, right? Right, puts in opening range low, starts rallying, you know, we're waiting. A name like Amazon, right? Puts an opening range low, rallies, so we're waiting. So we're waiting and waiting and waiting. And so, and, and it's like one of those days that, at least in the first you know hour and a half or so, nothing was going on. And you sit there and you go, oh my God, this, don't, don't tell me we have one, one of these days that we're gonna have to literally wait for like a 10 second interval to finally get something going. And we're sitting there and we're sitting there and we're sitting there. So then, app, and then Apple, you know, starts breaking down. Well, not only is we're breaking down. So Apple, and I want to kind of show you guys this. And it's again, it's going to look great on paper, right? You'll see in a second. It's going to look great on paper, but a huge miss on my behalf. So Apple, if you look at the day's events, right? So here was Apple. So it starts breaking down, right? The previous day's low, and this was the pivot, right? The previous day's low, 40 through 43, 40. So I get short Apple. It goes down like. I don't know, like 35 cents, nothing big, right? Nothing big. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you start seeing, you know, you start seeing, because every time I trade a NASDAQ composite name, what I always do is I always look at the cues. I want to make sure the cues are, uh, the cues are trading in correlation with uh, the NASDAQ 100 product. So what happens is it goes down like 30, like 35 cents, not, nothing big, right? And what happens is, correlated, it hits the 60, you see this linear regression line, this line, right? So it hits it perfectly and starts to not really rally, but bounces off a little bit. But at the same time, you can see here, the Qs hold the 60 minute support. So I'm not a schmuck. I, I understand what happens if the Qs hold, right? Who's the biggest weight added uh, to the index? It's Apple and Microsoft, right? So Apple holds a 60 minute 
Uh, the Q's hold this 60 minutes. So I'm saying to myself, the longer it just sits there, like around 43, I think once the you know once the the 60 once the Q's lose the 60 minute channel, uh, we should get a flush, right? We should really get a flush. So it starts rallying a little bit, and the futures get stronger, and the futures get stronger, and they start coming in for like the 145, 146 weeklies, and I'm like. Why the hell are they buying 145, 146 weeklies? It doesn't make any sense, right? It doesn't make any type of sense. So we're sitting there, we're sitting there, and we're like, I'm like, guys, you know what? Let's let's cover it up. Let's, let's use break even as a stop, blah, 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 and make a cup of coffee on the trade, right? It's irrelevant, right? Completely irrelevant. So then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, Apple starts to explode, right? I mean, literally explodes. It goes from like 43 to like 45. When we covered it, it goes to like 45. And then two, and it felt like, no joke, it felt like it was like the longest minute, but then it goes from 45 to 44 and comes out news that Apple, out of nowhere, comes out Apple that their uh, iPhone 14 Pro and their Pro Max, their shipments because of the, into the fourth quarter will be 15 to 20 min, million units light, right? Will be light than anticipated. And what happens, Apple gets destroyed, right? Apple, you can see here, Apple gets destroyed. They start coming in for the 140 puts. They start coming up for the 138 puts. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this just happened. I just missed it. Because literally, it literally went from 145, took out this area here, and just, just absolutely got destroyed, as you can see. And at the same time, right before the news came out, and this is where my, my like I literally wanted to take a pen and stick it in my eye. I, 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 <laughs> so right before the news came out, again, nobody possibly could know this news is coming out. Amazon was about Amazon was about to confirm its opening range lows, right? And I'll show you the pivots in a second. And so it starts to confirm its opening range low. And I'm like, this is this is the direct quote, I would say literally 10 seconds before the, the, the iPhone uh, iPhone announcement. I turn around, I'm like, hey, as long as the queues are sitting above the Bollinger Band, there's no way in hell I could short Amazon or NVIDIA or anything, right? Or anything until we get below the band. Before I even use the word get below the band, Apple comes out with news. So what has happens, right? Amazon gets destroyed, goes down $2. Nvidia gets destroyed, goes down $2. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh no, what the hell just happened? Again, this is my game plan, I was ready for it. And the one name I, I remembered, right? And I, by the way, and I missed the cues. Remember we talked about the cues yesterday? We talked about cues, uh, that one uh, 280, 50 level. I missed that as well because my brain just, just was fried from what I was seeing. The only thing left, right? Literally the only thing left for me was spies, right? We talked about that 295 level. This obviously uh, obviously saved the day. This was great. 295, uh, when it was like a $2 candle instantly when, when everything got pulled. But I tell you, this was definitely one of the more weird days I can remember. And not only, you know, the, the, you know the, we got the wash, blah, 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 but everything started rallying out of nowhere. Usually when, for example, if spies, right, if the spies get hit, I said, you know what, guys, let's keep it running. Let's see if we get that 92, 80s wash. They just stopped randomly in 93, 30, turned around and went green on the day at some point, just to give an idea how crazy this day was. So just a weird day, uh, a wild day. And again, it really does show you, you could be uh, completely prepared, right? Completely prepared, and something just comes out of nowhere, you know, that you have absolutely no control over, and you know your game plan goes without you, right? I mean, it's like again, unless you are a robot, uh, unless you are a robot. I know, I know a lot of, you, well, not, I would say a lot. I know a good handful of you guys kind of re-entered, you know, Amazon and all these things uh, when the news broke. But oh boy, I just for some reason my my brain was just too slow. I I missed all those. I did catch the spies. Uh, pretty well. A couple other things are, are working right now, but boy, oh boy, very, very frustrating uh, morning, uh, especially nothing was rallying. We, we, we could see it. I mean, everything was playing out perfectly into uh, a really, really big potential premium day. And again, unless you're, unless you jump back into these things after the Apple announcement, you, you missed a pretty big window. Uh, and I missed a pretty big window. Again, if it wasn't for spies, I would have, my window would have been completely uh, closed. So you can see here, and again, it looks great on paper, right? It looks really, really good on paper. Uh, LI, uh, it was, it's actually LITE. We talked about it last night. Uh, 54, 20, 54. This is a, this is a multi-day swing. Uh, if you look at LITE, this one was perfect. So far, so far, so good, right? We talked about this last night on the video, the earnings low, it broke the earnings low, it closed within 20 cents of the lows. I think this thing goes lower. It's very slow stock. It's not exciting. It's not sexy, but I do believe we still got another couple of days 
uh, worth of sell by. So this was fine, right? There was nothing wrong with it. It's not sexy. It's not you know, it's there, right? It's like it's like it's like uh, it's like a piece of wood. It's just kind of there. Okay, fine. That's fine. Um, Meta never got down. You can see I, I still like this Meta, by the way. Um, Meta now has held. Check this out, guys, for tomorrow. Meta has held now this area three times in a row. This is one of the stocks, one of the very few stocks that didn't get pulled today. But hey, it keeps on holding this same same area here. If you, if you just chart tonight, you can see how many times it held this bottom range. If eventually it gets pulled, you know, they could get a nice two, three dollar pull there uh, as well. But it didn't confirm today. It didn't confirm. So uh, Airbnb, I still like it. Didn't confirm. Netflix was actually pretty smooth, right? This is one of the ones that actually went right off the word go. Uh, 280 and a half, 280 if it builds below can flush. Again, for you guys who did catch it, uh, good job. So here is the 80, right? Here's the 80. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, here's the 80 and a half, right? It went all the way down, took out the 77, it went down all the way down to two, let's just call it 276. So nice move there on Netflix, right? It was all cool, okay? But here, here's my point. This looks great on paper, right? 143.38, if it builds below, can flush. Great call, Dan. No, 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 no. Right? You can hear the frustration in my voice. No, so I shorted it, went down to like 42, 42 and change. Uh, 42 90s and you know it was only down like 30 cents rally back ran up two dollars and then came back in they, they guided lower an iphone blah 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 so yeah i missed it it went all the way down to 140 but hey as far as social media goes you're a must follow dan no 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 you're either in the trade or not very discouraging by the way so yeah so you can see my frustration there this again this is what saved the day this was perfect uh, when Apple went, everything went, Spies went as well. 395 held daily twice. Again, we talked about this on the video last night. This thing pretty much saved my day. If it builds below, it can flush. Went down like $1.70 within a couple of minutes. This was great. Uh, NVIDIA, I missed it, right? NVIDIA missed it. Um, you know, went down to like 55. I still like NVIDIA in case the market pulls, but I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Uh, Zoom. Remember I talked a lot of shit last night? This is the last time I'm going to trade it. And I was like, I was so, I was so frustrated. I, I didn't even want to trade it. What did it go down? 50 cents? Who cares? Didn't trade it, don't want to trade it, right? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, semiconductors, again, just to show you, again, how, how weird this this day was. Semiconductors, they started building, we talked about the SMHs yesterday, uh, 214.80, only went down a dollar, right? Only went down a dollar and came back and reclaimed 214.80. So this is just a weird as day. Usually, again, uh, things go very organically, uh, very organically, every, you know, everything, man. And uh, today, you know, thank God for a couple of things, but boy, oh boy. Just a very crazy day. Uh, Amazon, again, I missed it. You know, 92.80 for bills below can flush, went down to like 90 and change. Uh, it, it, it started collapsing as the, mic, as, as the Apple news was coming out and I was already, I was already discouraged watching Apple get destroyed without me. Uh, and L, yeah, this is, a, it wasn't was LIFE, it was LITE, 54, 20, 54. If it builds below can flush, went down about a dollar. I still like it uh, for the next couple of days. So, uh, you know, really weird day. Um, that's the best way I could say it. Really, really weird day. Uh, if you look at the indexes going into tomorrow's session, you know, we're kind of like in no man's land now. This is where, you know, this is where, you know, I, I'm, you know obviously I, I like more things to the sell side than I do to the, to, 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 to the buy side only because we're closer to the bottom of the range, to the top of the range, but it doesn't mean we can't rally tomorrow. Like at least, you know, at least today I had a definitive view of the market. We know we had the, you know, we had the pivot, specific pivots on the Qs and the uh, SMHs and the SPIs. We knew that was market driven, but today we're kind of right back above the 20 day moving average. So it's, you know, it could be a little bit of, you know, kind of stock specific today, but, but tomorrow, but just always remember you only need one, right? You only need one. Uh, you look at the SPIs, uh, they did the same thing, right? They, they didn't even quite get down to, I thought we were gonna get a wash in that 9280s. I uh, went down to 9330. Again, hell, I'm not complaining. Considering how the day went today, I am not complaining, but I'm complaining. Uh, but you could tell here, you know, just, just they close under the 10 day moving average. That's not a good thing uh, for the bulls. But again, we're still above this whole congestion here uh, that we're still building way above the 50 day moving average. And then you can turn around and say uh, exactly the same thing for the queues, right? We're still building this digestive channel. But the weirdest thing about today was, again, remember we talked about yesterday, nausea, 280, 50, 280, 50, 280, 50. They broke 280, 50, right? They went down to 79 and just kind of stopped, stopped and kind of reclaimed level. So just an absolutely odd day. Um, you know, some names that I'm definitely watching uh, for tomorrow, like again, that LITE, I definitely like for uh, more uh, continuation, uh, more continuation. Check out, you know, check out Snow, Meta, you know, we talked about a few minutes ago, you know, check out Snow. Snow is getting very close, right? Snow is getting very, very close. Please check 
uh, earnings, but snow is getting very, very close. If there's one more day of Apple, if it comes down the bottom of the range, they were coming for the 140 and the 138 weekly. So there's something, to, again, to definitely keep an eye on. Uh, I still like this Airbnb. Didn't quite get there today, but maybe tomorrow, right? Airbnb, I still like as well. And uh, I think that's about it, right? I think that's about it. So look, not every day can be perfect. Uh, you can't be, you know, you can't be superhuman. Uh, no matter how experienced you are, you're always going to have some curveballs and things to kind of that you just can't control. And today was just a really wild session. Uh, it's not going to, it's not going to get any easier tomorrow. Again, the, a lot of stocks are in the middle of their channels. And oh, by the way, you have Powell uh, comments tomorrow in the afternoon. Again, who doesn't love more Fed talk? Again, remember they get paid by the word. Guys, God bless. To easier roads ahead. Hope everybody survived. Hope everybody did well. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.